I really wanted to explore in Firecrackers the idea of patriarchal oppression and misogyny and fighting against that. It's a huge topic, it's a huge idea. It tends to be very like academic a lot of the time in the way that it's framed in conversations and in films and articles and media. I wanted to be able to explore that in a way that felt that there was an emotional connection for an audience, that they could understand what oppression feels like on a very basic level. I've seen you shaking your ass for little Joshy boy here. I'll shake my ass for wherever I want. Whenever I fucking feel like it. <laughs> you got that? I've always been interested in the idea of women's freedom or the lack of freedom. And uh, Firecrackers really looks at that in a very specific way. And it's all about power. Every single person is affected negatively by patriarchy even the men, even the male characters. The more that these female characters rebel against injustice or misogyny, the more they're punished. And there's a constant power struggle between the male characters who are constantly trying to sabotage these women because they feel threatened by them. You guys are tough girls, huh? I tell you what, y'all can come with. But you gotta do something first. What? Seven seconds in heaven. You serious? I'm not no. fucking making out with her. <laughs> it's not about That's unfortunate. That. It was a whole big plan. <laughs> Make it out. That's some tame ass shit. <laughs> You going for it, Shane? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Yo, man, get the rifle. <laughs> we utilize Facebook and Instagram a lot to put out ads to find these girls. And when I saw Karina and I saw Michaela, I kind of knew who they were. We had like a mutual world, but I didn't know them as people. And I read with them in the audition. It was about a 40 minute audition for each of them and it was all improvised. There was no script for them to come in and read. They made their own choices and they were taking risks in the audition process. <coughs> what I was really looking for was vulnerability. I look for that in every single actor I usually audition, unless for some reason that character doesn't need that. But especially with Lou and Chantel, they needed to be vulnerable, even though they had to be incredibly bold and, and, and uh, brave. In the audition process, I knew I could build that sort of, um, the, especially with Lou, that anger and that boldness, I could build that later. But vulnerability, I think, is just something that's innate and it, you either have that in front of a camera or you, you don't. And um, both Michaela and Karina were incredibly vulnerable in front of me and in front of the camera right away. And um, I kind of knew, you know, right, right then that I was like, I think these are the girls. So, no matter how bad it gets, you're just gonna let them get away with it? What the fuck do you want me to do? That's just the way things are, Lou. How do you not fucking understand that? He's always gonna get away with it. All of our key crew are female, except for Casey, who's the composer. And um, that wasn't planned. It was just because um, I think when women are in power or when they have director roles or producer roles, they're going to hire other women. And I think other women are drawn to working with other women. Plus, they really related to the story. It was a really familiar story to a lot of women. So it drew people to the project and it just kind of happened naturally. 